My name is Lisa Edgar and I'm from Lomita, Texas, which is kind of right outside of Austin. Um, I had a cornea transplant dur uh, due to having uh, keratoconus when I was 14 years old and that was back in 1988 um, when I lived in Houston, Texas. I had um, both eyes cornea transplant in and um, that was, you know, it was a very painful process of recuperating and getting sutures taken out and trying to learn how to see all over again. Um, I was blessed that, you know, we was able to get the cornea transplants, but um, because that was the only option at the time from, you know, my doctors. Um, I've had, since then, um, tried numerous times to have um, uh, uh, RPGs, you know, the, the, the hard contact lenses, um, and the, it was just excruciatingly painful. My grafts were too jagged and the contact lens would never stay in place. It was just very painful. Glasses were always heavy. Um, uh, you know on and off one I have one eye that is very very nearsighted and the other very very far-sighted so trying to when you put them on it's it's kind of you know um, overlapping it was just very difficult to adjust your eyes so um, I have chronic headaches because of it um, and so I just felt like I was always locked down to these glasses and I couldn't do things like sports and really have fun and everything because of my glasses and can't see very well. So I totally understand how difficult it is to live normally. You know, everybody says, oh, glasses, but when you have something that's so heavy that it's painful to wear, um, it's not just glasses. So I did one day find, um, you know, looking online and trying to see if anybody could ever do um, PRK or LASIK and I asked all my spe spe specialists and nobody would touch me. They said it's way too dangerous. It's not going to happen. Um, up until last summer and I found uh, Dr. Brian and it was amazing. I, I sent all my stuff in. I talked to all the staff. They were just so wonderful and gave, gave me hope. Um, they he approved that um, I was candidate and I know I remember just tears. Um, like a liberation so it was really great um, we made it up here finally and um, the staff has been just awesome um, I went under the our, um, PRK and I, I could tell immediately when I got up from that you know the you know the the bed that I could see I could see his face like just normally and um, so it was just amazing to see that all of a sudden it was just almost like magic and so I'm super excited about through this whole entire experience of being, being able to see again after so hearing so many people out there you know around Texas and online saying how it can never happen you can't ever have PRK and I'm here to tell you you can it can happen and you can do this successfully and um, they pretty much called me you know my right eye was virtually blind because of you know when I try to go get my driver's license but now I can see so it's a miracle to me but I want everybody to know that he is you know I can't tell him uh, or give him enough gratitude of thanks for what he brought back to me and um, I just want everybody out there that has had cornea transplants to know that there's hope. You don't have to have the hard contact lenses. You don't have to have the heavy glasses. Um, and you can have a normal life. And so I just want to say how thankful I am for the whole staff. Everybody has been just so great. And, um, and, and I, so just want everybody to say thank you.